Hey Michael. Yeah. Do you like falafels? I love falafels, absolutely. Ever made them from scratch? I've only ever had falafels from the local kebab shop. I've never made them myself. That so. doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make them fair yeah. income from scratch, no cheats. Nice. Really easy and really tasty. Awesome. So we're gonna make a pickled beetroot and cabbage nice. salad to go with these. Oh yum. But of course you can have them in pita breads if you want. Yeah, yeah. But this is just something a bit different. So purple fingers. Yeah. I want you to just to grate our beetroot into yep. the bowl here. Nice. And now, while you do that, I'll slice up some cabbage. Beautiful. So Gonna keep these tops so you can use them for something. They, they're great in salad, great sauteed yeah. like spinach. Sauteed with some um, almonds and some feta cheese over them. Don't, don't waste them. You can have tabbouleh with falafels, you can have them in pita breads. Yeah. As I said, I like something kind of fresh, so we're doing pickled beetroots with some red onion and red cabbage. Well, so it's essentially, it's a little deep fried vegetarian ball. Yes. So you want something to cut through it. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, the majority of the fluffers I've had have been post midnight. So my memory <laughs> of that recipe is probably not amazing. <laughs> and I don't think it's gonna be too hard. I, I see all the stuff you've got here. It's all pretty easy stuff. It's just, I guess if anything, there's a few ingredients, yeah. but there's nothing tricky about it. Nice. So cabbage, I'm gonna go into the bowl with red cabbage. Yeah, which doesn't make your hands as red as beetroot. No. Now beetroot can go straight in there as well. Yep, Great. it's all going in. And we're just going to do a really quick, basic pickle. So sugar, vinegar, and some salt. Now, if you didn't have a little julienne at home, you could chop it, or you could grate it in your box grater just as the well. Box would, be, would be fine. Fine. Yep. Nice. You can do that half. I'll do this half. Cool. We're going to do this first because the pickle, obviously, the longer it sits, the better it will yeah. get. And obviously, pickling them takes that raw edge. I wouldn't generally eat kind of a big chunk of raw beetroot or onion. No. To get the pickling process going, sea salt. And we're gonna drain this amount, so don't be freaked out by how much salt and sugar's going in. Yep. Caster sugar. Beautiful. Goes Is that in. equal parts? Equal less... parts sugar and vinegar. Nice. And I've got some red wine vinegar here. I'll let you use a spoon now. Yeah, that you've thank got you pink very hand. much. Appreciate that. Just give that a mix, Mike. Stitch up. This better taste good because I've I've got pretty dirty making it. Pickles are amazing. You know, Normally. Now I've said that, I think it's gonna be better with my hands. Go in. You're already purple. <laughs> yeah, I know. You want to get what, a bit of sugar, a bit of salt, a bit of the vinegar over everything. Yeah, don't you? you do yeah. almost want to massage it in. Yeah. If you've got some gloves, wear gloves. Yeah. If you don't. If you've got a look someone like a, that's look willing. Like a fool. If you've got someone that's willing to get purple hands for you, then. <laughs> Let them go for it. I said, this better be delicious. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> so we're going to go in with cumin, coriander, a tablespoon each. Yep. Coriander, cumin. Whole spices will keep longer in your cupboard. Yep. And then you kind of revive them in the pan, bring them back to life. We're going to toast them off. We're going to have really fragrant yep. now, cumin, coriander. When I toast stuff off, you just, you just want to get it to start smelling it, don't you? You don't, yep. want to, you don't want to burn it. And it happens really quickly because it's a dry pan. So we've got one brown onion, uh -huh. and we've got a little food processor here. Food processors save your life. You don't want to try and chop it all, do you? Or Not mash unless it you've all. got a Michael hanging around that's willing to chop it all, but no. And he's in a bad mood because he's covered in beetroot. <laughs> We're going to help the food processor out a little. Yeah. And just one onion. So anyone out there going, I'm wondering if she's using canned chickpeas? She's not. No. Oh. Do you know what? I'm all for quick and easy and shortcuts. <laughs> she's definitely not. No, these haven't been cooked. So these have been soaking overnight in cold water. Um, I've tried making falafels from tin chickpeas and they're just not as good. They can end up a bit soggy yep. and then get them into the food processor without spilling them. The fact that they're not cooked, we kind of get a bit of crunch and texture to them. And falafels are not supposed to be soggy and smooth. No. Crunchy flavour bombs. And you're going to cook them when you fry them in the oil anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Some white pepper. Oh, there's nothing better than grinding spices itself. Oh, it smells... So good. How does that smell? This room smells amazing. Half a teaspoon of chilli. Yep, nice. Bit of heat. Like we always say, if you didn't like chilli, leave it out. Of course. But it has a nice little bit of warmth, there's isn't it? You so, want that sort of spice. Yeah, there's so much other things in here. It kind of just goes into the mix. Some allspice. About a teaspoon of allspice. Nice. That's already been toasted. It's quite a dark spice. We won't toast that off. How about that? How's that looking? Beautiful. Into our food processor. What else have we got here? I've got some bicarb soda. Gonna keep the falafels nice and light. Garlic. Yep, beautiful. And my favourite thing in the world. Some herbs. Herbs. Heaps of herbs. My middle name should be Herb. Now, I love your saying that you taught me about herbs. 100% flavour, zero calories. Zero calories. It's probably the only time I promote zero calories. But um, <laughs> I've, I actually use that all the time now and it's a great... I mean, it's, it's a great way to flavour dishes, lots and lots of herbs. Oh, it is. And as you see, I do not go light on the herbs. No. Go heavy on the herbs. Looks like a lot, but once we mix it in, it's going to just yeah. be a nice balance. And I want these out. almost green. Split that up. Yep. Pulsing it rather than just full bore yeah. blending it because you want to keep some nice chunky bits of chickpea. Yeah. We're going to go in now some flour. Yep. The less flour, the more flavour that your falafel's going to have. And also the lighter, is that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
done. How good does that look? Yes. And look, there's a, there is a few ingredients going in there. This is not a kind of five ingredient recipe, but once you've got all the ingredients, it's very easy to make. Simple as that. So Mike, we're gonna roll these in some sesame seeds. I had a feeling that I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be rolling these. In some well, seeds. I don't mind rolling them. <laughs> I kind of start rolling, I do these at work a lot. Yeah. And I kind of, I envisage myself, I'm gonna open a falafel store one day and I could just make these all day. So just in your hands? Just one-handed, I just like them. You don't want them too big. Mine's a bit big, yeah. You'll end up with like a football shape, which is what you want if yeah. you do it one-handed. Just form them so just they're still to, nice and light? Yeah, just so they hold together there. All right, I love this, this is awesome. And then we roll them in that. Yep. And then we're going to pop them into our hot oil here. Nice. I'm not big on deep frying, but falafel if you've got no, to do it. No, I'm glad you're doing this one for me. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to check our oil's hot. Yeah, beautiful. Falafels go in. Nice. You want the oil hot enough that they're sizzling when it goes in. Yeah. But you don't want it so hot that the outside's going to burn yep. before the middle's cooked. Yeah. And you don't want it so cold that they're going to get oil logged. So you've got a, about that 160, 170 degree mark. You can do all this blitzing a few days in advance. They will get better with age, like anything with spices yep. in it like this. Develop the flavour. Yeah. It's quite easy to roll them by hand, I don't know. Yeah, I yeah it is. Yeah. It's the one handed roll. You can always reheat them in the oven if you've made them. Of course you can. You can fry these, cook these on the weekend, and you can just have them cold in your salads, in the lunch boxes. Yeah, nice. Very versatile. Love Let's that. have a little uh, shimmy around in oh, here. Oh, look at that. Look at them. Courtney's falafel store. I like it. It's got a ring to it. It doesn't sound very traditional. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got a couple there that I reckon are ready. Yeah, beautiful. Deep frying's not that bad. If you no. oil's at the right temperature. Yeah. It's true. If you have it at a hot temperature and you do it nice and quickly, then the oil can't go into it because it's all the moisture's escaping. That's exactly. what's really frying is the moisture's escaping. So Alright, we're gonna go in with the rest of these, Mike. And do you want me to salt these straight away? This is the other big thing with frying, isn't it? You want to salt yes. quickly afterwards. Always so season. When they're hot and they got a bit of oil to soak in the salt other rather than sliding off of it. Look, you could just eat them like that as a snack. Oh. I, I would happily eat it is, a bowl of It is the silly season. These yep. are perfect with a yep. with a drink or a cold beer if you're that way inclined. Yep. Right, gonna let this other batch cook. Nice. Then we're gonna plate up. Beautiful. All right. They nice. look so good. Should we try one? one I reckon of, we should try We'll one. try one from the first batch. One of the little ones. Shouldn't be too hot. Look at that. Green, Ooh, yum. fluffy, spicy. We'll try them. They don't look that nice when I have them after midnight. No, they're so good. I could eat a hundred of them. <laughs> we can plate up now mm -hmm. while I'm eating. Mm. Our pickle has pickled. Mm -hmm. Nice and shiny. Now, do you want me to make a sauce quickly? Yeah, you've got to have a sauce yep. for this. We're just going yogurt yep. and a bit of mayonnaise Beautiful. today. You Beautiful. could grate some garlic in there if you wanted, but we've got so much flavour going on uh -huh. in the falafels that I just want something creamy, really, because our... Nice. Our, um, so this is the, in place of the really... Garlic sauce. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Kill vampires garlic sauce that oh, I'm yeah. used to with my falafels. Woo. No, this is quite tangy and fresh. These can just go on. There we go. And then... Yeah. This is how I do it, Mickey. Yep. Sauce over A little bit the top. of sauce to get almost every bite has a little bit of sauce. Yeah. So I've got some sriracha here. You always need a bit of spice, don't you? You need a bit of chilli sauce, not too much. No. Just a little bit. Herbs have gone yep. in it, so herbs can go on top of it. I knew there'd be some herbs. Oh, you knew there'd be herbs. That is beautiful. A little bit of an upgrade from the 1am falafels that Michael's <laughs> been eating, I think. I think so. Give these a go at home. They're worth the effort. They're a million times better than the bought ones. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you'll never look back. You'll be falafeling for days.